In here, we got a stunning result from James Webb Telescope in collaboration with researchers at the University of Bristol concerning the discovery of a specific type of compound that one is strange in terms of where it is located and where it is formed and also the chances of finding such compound in any exoplanet or planet in any system and this year is specifically looking at the exoplanet it is the wasp 17b and this exoplanet is having an atmosphere that has a lot of things in it hydrogen helium we'll talk about that definitely for sure but the special ingredient here that is also part of its atmosphere composition is a quartz and quartz we know is a silicate which consists of the combination of silicon and two oxygens attached together it's really stunning to see how this product here or this particular compound is found in its atmosphere and how it is formed we're going to look at a lot of things in terms of how this is compared to earth's atmosphere composition of silicate whether it is actually present in our atmosphere or somewhere else and two we're going to look at some interesting wind and also results concerning james Webb telescope and the impact of this result here in terms of our understanding of exoplanet atmosphere and the future of such exploration based on James Webb telescope powerful technique that was actually proposed right here so in this article here it says that while they initially anticipated the presence of magnesium silicate in the atmosphere of this planet they were surprised to find that the aerosols that are all tiny particles forming clouds and hazel were made of pure quads instead now silicate composes of silicon and oxygen are common in our solar system but this finding challenges existing theories about exoplanets cloud formation now the researchers suggested a couple of things but well, one importantly here is that the quads particles they observed may be the building blocks for larger silicates grained formed in cooler exoplanets and brown dwarfs now this discovery sheds new light on our understanding of exoplanet atmosphere now looking at the scale of this exoplanet in terms of its size it says here that the of 17b is an unusually large but has a low mass exoplanet of course with a volume that is over seven that is seven of course times that of jupiter and a mass that is less than half of jupiter now this of course reveals that definitely it is a low dense exoplanet compared to jupiter and this year it's short orbital period that is around 3.7 earth days makes it an ideal candidate for transmission spectroscopy a technique that involves studying how planets atmosphere affects the light sun or sunlight that is called now how was this achieved this was achieved using the james webb telescope in terms of the timeline it took around 10 hours and this captured more than 1275 brightness measurements in the mid infrared range that is around the 5 to 12 microns now as the planet passes in front of the star so this here imagines a star and it comes in front of it by comparing the brightness of the different wavelength of light when the planet was in front of the star with the star's brightness on its own the researchers they were able to calculate the wavelength that is blocked by the planet's atmosphere now the unexpected result or discovery was a distinct bump at around 8.6 microns which could not be anticipated if the clouds were composed of magnesium silicate or other high temperature aerosols like aluminum aluminum oxide however this bump aligns with the expectations if the clouds are made of quartz providing critical insights into the planet's atmospheric composition now comparing this with earth's quartz formation here he says according to this article that 
this particular planet an exceptionally large exoplanet in terms of the volume with a relative low mass has been observed using James Webb telescope web but this planet atmosphere was found to contain tiny quartz crystals that is each measured around 10 nanometers across now Hubble Space Telescope played a critical role in determining the size of these particle particles here and unlike Earth where materials particles in cloud originate from the surface, the quartz crystals in this planet's atmosphere form directly from gas during or due to its extreme heat and low pressure. Now looking at the cloud composition of this particular wasp 17b, it states here that this is considered to be a really hot Jupiter. Well, what does that mean? This means that it primarily consists of hydrogen, helium, water, vapor and carbon dioxide now the presence of quartz in this case here crystals that which means that it is definitely its atmosphere is rich in oxygen which is significant in terms of the overall chemical composition now the detail here is not shown in terms of what is the percent composition of those specific elements or compounds in the atmosphere so it's going to be interesting to see how more mass spectroscopy data will be collected for it and most especially since this planet is relatively close in here it can be easily gotten in terms of the information in the future so i'm really interested to see how this is going to play out because in here it says here that the distribution and prevalence of these clouds on the planet are challenging to determine but they are likely found around the terminator you know, which is the boundary between the hot day side and the colder night side. Now the clouds may circulate around the planet and disintegrate when they reach the extremely hot day side. So this kind of gives a little bit of a theory behind how these particular silicates might be formed based on how you have the two extremes and that barrier where there is easy circulation that may result in high activity which encourages the collision of those particular silicon and hydrogen formation bonds to form these quads that are in this particular atmosphere. So, WASP here, of course, is part of this particular dream project that is also known as the Deep Reconnaissance of Exoplanet Atmosphere using the Multi Instrument Spectroscopy, all that fancy stuff. But this research is going to be ongoing for sure, and I'm really excited to know your thoughts about this here in the comment section down below about this particular exoplanet and its wonderful discovery that is not found anywhere else the first of its kind the presence of quartz in its atmosphere do you think that this will pave the road for presence of more oxygen and also maybe of course people are always excited about the concept of life based on the high content of oxygen here so let's know your thought about this in the comment section down below by the way we can talk to you soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves